Wes Unseld starred in basketball at the University of Louisville. He was then drafted number two overall by the Baltimore Bullets in the 1968 NBA draft. He was also selected by his hometown Kentucky Colonels of the American Basketball Association in the 1968 draft. Unseld was offered contracts by both teams but opted to sign with the Bullets of the more successful NBA despite them allegedly offering less money. As a rookie, Unseld helped lead the Bullets, which had finished in last place in the Eastern Division the previous year, to a 57 wins 25 loss record and a division title. Unseld averaged 18.2 rebounds per game that year, and joined fellow future Hall of Famer Wilt Chamberlain to become the second player ever to win the Rookie of the Year award and the Most Valuable Player award in the same year. Unseld was one of the best defensive players of his era, and in 1975, he led the NBA in rebounding. The following season, he led the NBA in field goal percentage with a .561 percentage. Unseld took the Bullets franchise to four NBA Finals, and won the championship in 1978 over the Seattle Supersonics, in which he was named the Finals MVP. He ended his playing career following the 1980-1981 season, and his number 41 jersey was retired by the Bullets shortly thereafter. In 984 NBA games, all with the Bullets, Unseld averaged a double-double in points and rebounds, with averages of 10.8 points and 14 rebounds per game. He also averaged 3.9 assists, excellent for a center, in the 36 minutes he played per game. Unseld was inducted into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame in 1988, and in 1996, he was named as one of the NBA's 50 greatest players of all time. After Unseld's retirement in 1981, he moved into a front office position with the Bullets, where he served as vice president for six years before being named head coach in 1988. He resigned following the 1994 season. Unseld became the Bullets' general manager in 1996 and served in that role for seven years. Condolences to his family, friends and teammates. Mr. Unseld died after battling pneumonia, his family announced Tuesday. He was 74. May he rest in peace. What was your favorite year? I don't know, I think probably the first year. Uh, because I think that was the first time that this team, this organization, started to develop some tradition, uh, you know, some closeness. They wanted to win. We, we actually won that, that first year. Um, we won, for I think, for 12 straight years after that, before we had a, an actual losing season. Uh, but it, it was one of those things where we became close-knit, and we started something that we tried to get other guys to do. This award tonight, an induction into the Hall of Fame, has to say more about an individual than his basketball skills. You know, all day long people have been asking me, what does this mean to you? And I've not been able to come up with a satisfied, satisfying answer. And I think if anything, it probably says, hopefully to those two, that uh, maybe someday when you look back upon your old man and, you know, you can say, well, maybe he wasn't such a bad guy after all. Thank you very much.